Okay. <clears throat> so my favorite line of the night <laughs> was KK. KK says simply, no ma'am, bitch. <laughs> and I about fell out. Child, let's get on into this. Like, come on through, cookie. I want to pull my soapbox. That's basically it. Let's talk about drag and all its forms. What, cookie? Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is actually my review for Love and Hip Hop Atlanta Season 5. This is Episode 4. That's what this is. Child, we're going to talk about KK. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and talk about KK now. Because that was my favorite part of the whole thing this evening. KK actually sat down with Scrap. Scrap needed to actually go ahead and talk to KK because... KK wanted to, um, well, not KK, actually, T, uh, TR, TR, yeah, Tierra, Tierra, wanted to sit down with KK and get some understanding about what has gone on in the past so they could clear it up so that she would feel comfortable with letting the baby come around them and all of that. But if there's not going to be any understanding, they ain't going to get to see the baby. Now, all of this actually came about when Jessica Dime and Mimi actually had a meeting earlier on. And uh, child, that goddamn Jessica Dime, she's so ridiculous. When she called Jocelyn the Puerto Rican peasant, I about fell on the floor. I said, girl, Jocelyn's going to fuck you up. You just keep on talking to Jessica. Keep it up. Um, but she en ended up having Tierra show up, and Tierra actually apologized to Mimi for the whole mishap during Christmas party and all that. And Mimi was really trying it at first. Like, I, I it's this hood booger bitch, all this shit. But just ridiculous. But she apologized, and then they got to talking. And Jessica told her, you know, Mimi, y'all have a lot in common, you know, with the whole back and forth with uh, Jocelyn and Stevie back in the day and all that. So, actually, um... Mimi gave her good advice, and that's where the whole thing of wanting to meet up with KK came from her talk with Mimi. And um, I just kind of laughed. So it was crazy because when KK and Scrap actually got together, it was a mess. That damn KK, she ain't got no kind of decorum. She acts like she's their sister instead of their mother sometimes. Some shit that just comes out of her mouth. Well, she said, I hate for y'all to eat my food because it feels like I'm tasting y'all's girlfriends. I said, oh, Lord. And then I had to think to myself, girl, that don't sound all that far-fetched to me that you wouldn't know what Tommy tastes like because I've been looking at side-eyeing side y'all for the time I first seen y'all. So it wouldn't surprise me if you actually knew what Tommy tastes like. I'm just saying. Anyway, because they do, they give me them, them type of teas. Anyhow. But yeah, she's talking to him and stuff, and she said, he, she's just trying to set you up. She ain't doing but trying to control you. This, that, and the other will say, let's go to court. Let the white man handle it. There ain't only white men <laughs> at court, baby. There are black judges, honey. But whatever. Ghetto as hell. But um, yeah, she went through all that. When she told Scrap, she said, no, she's not going to do it to me. She's going to do She's doing it to you. She ain't letting you see your son and all that. But she's not going to do it to me. No, ma'am, bitch. And I fell out on the floor. Scrap jumped on up with his long-haired ass and knocked the chair over. I said, oh, look at him, sugar. And she's going to say, damn, stupid ass. You know say He's so fucking weak. I said, oh, girl, she is such a goddamn. She reminds me so much of Mama D. So that, you got that whole thing with them. Um, Right in the very beginning of the show, you know, they were clearing up that whole little thing with the meeting with Tierra and Tommy and Scrap. And, you know, when T Tommy left, she said, I'm too grown for this shit. And she left. And Tierra smacked the goddamn shit out of Scrappy. Or Scrap, not Scrappy. Scrap. She smacked the shit out of him. He said, I'm done talking. I'm done talking. I said, I guess you are. She smacked the words right out of you. I laughed at his ass. Then we got Carly. Carly actually is working for Playboy. She was doing a photo shoot for them. She has a radio show for them. 
I'm like, okay, Cardi, so you do got some little things going on, got some little money coming in. And she is still with Life Jennings. So we've seen Life Jennings in this episode. We finally got the rest of the cast on this episode. Um, child Jocelyn's back. Miss Jocelyn came marching in. The bitch looked good. She looked good. She came in. She came to see Stevie. Met her at the jewelry store. And uh, he's trying to make up things to her. You know, this whole back and forth, supposedly, from Atlanta, then to L.A., and now back to Atlanta. So he's trying to make good with Jocelyn. He took her to the store, to the jeweler. And uh, she was picking out some things. She's really showing off. So now nah, I have to have this. I need to be draped. And, and I need to let these bitches know. Because here... Um, he told her about Mimi, so she's like, "Yeah, I wanna, um, I wanna meet Mimi's new little, little, uh, little thing." It don't surprise me that she's a lesbian. Everybody likes to suck a little pussy every now and again. I said, "Oh my, just a mess." Anyway, so she did a video for church, and she actually is going to do a video release party. She wants to invite all the girls there, so she could just basically show off and basically flex and let them know bitches, I'm doing things, and y'all said I wouldn't, but I'm doing things, so it's like okay, it's no biggie, she just want to show off a little bit and of course Stevie's like, alright Jocelyn, no problem, then she said in her confessional, what they don't know baby is I got all the tea on KK and Stevie J, I said uh oh, she know her and Tommy are friends, so she says she got some things that she want to she's going to talk about that, I said okay Tommy and Jocelyn met up later on. Um, they actually talked about... Um, Jocelyn was actually having a portrait done. And the woman, you know, they had there was this artist that was doing the, the photo and all that. You know, Tommy and her mouth were get it. Jocelyn had the nerve to correct her about cussing and stuff. And I laughed at that whole little piece like, really, Jocelyn? You're correcting her about cussing, and you're the bitch not 20 minutes ago that said everybody likes to suck a little pussy every now and again. Okay, girl. And, you know, Tommy apologized. She said, girl, you know how I am. I'm so sorry, honey. And the little, the little artist, she's like, no, baby, that's fine. She went on, and she and I, that was just something to say because they both went right back to talking gutter. And I said, Lord have mercy. Just a mess. It's a damn mess. So um, she ended up telling... Uh, Jocelyn about Dime and Carly talking shit on her and all that. She's like, okay, well, I'm gonna handle that. But right in the midst of that, she went on and threw some shade at Tommy and said, let me see what kind of a bitch you are. Honey. She throws out there to Tommy, um, I done heard some shit, honey. I heard the scrap has another woman, honey. Not you, not Tierra, but another woman. I said, oh, Jocelyn, you come in bringing the noise. Jocelyn's giving you Carly Red Tees. I said, oh my. So then we flash back to LA. K. Michelle and Carly are meeting up at uh, Carly's store. You know, Kay had just came back from um, the UK. And she's in there, right back on her ghetto, telling them she was looking for a British white man with a big dick. Sick girl, you need to stop. You need to stop it. But she come back empty-handed. Um, then she sat up and they got them cable show. She said that Car that Rashida was a witch and that Mimi was thirsty and desperate. They cool, but all the shit she been seeing with Mimi, that Mimi is just thirsty and desperate. I said, oh, damn, Kay. And, uh, she said, she gave, she did give Carly some advice about the whole situation with Jocelyn and how to fix the friendship because you know her, you know, Jocelyn's her girl. So, but she said, yeah, I'm coming back there to Atlanta. I'm thinking I'm going to blow up through there because I got some, some shit. I need to go and stir up some shit with these bitches. So I said, okay. So we'd be looking for that. Then we had Rashida and Scrappy. Rashida went to see Scrappy to talk about the whole little situation with Kirk and Mama D and all of that. And they talked, and it didn't seem nothing really got all that um, fixed. Because I don't think there was really nothing really all that out of sorts. It was really, Mona didn't did that for us, child, but whatever. It is what it is. Last thing we've seen was Carly and Jocelyn gets together. And uh, they're talking. And uh, things ain't just so. 
you know, they had a little conversation. Then Carly was kind of, you know, hyped up, and Jocelyn's kind of like laughing. Or, you know, usually Jocelyn be ready to whoop your ass, but Jocelyn was just kind of like being real coy with her. I said, what is Jocelyn carrying on? She had this envelope, and that's when she let her know. She says, baby, I got something in this envelope, honey. And that's what Carly's like, ain't nothing. I ain't had nothing. This that she's being real smart with Jocelyn. Jocelyn, that's all right, baby. What I got in this envelope, honey, I don't know if you want me to expose it or not. And Carly was like, you can do whatever you want, this, that, and the other. I said, oh, here we go. And that's kind of what we cut out at. And from everything else Jocelyn was slinging around here, girl, I'm, I'm going to go on out on a limb and say, you probably don't want whatever's in that motherfucking envelope. Because Jocelyn is only, she ain't all had up no more. And that bitch got some shit with her. And I am so here for it. So basically, that's it, y'all. Um, that's episode four. It was good. Y'all know I like Atlanta. Atlanta makes me laugh. They be cutting the damn full. So thumbs up, thumbs down. Y'all know all that work. And I will talk with y'all next Monday. Bye, guys.